let us watch a video on two different places of the earth in the first case we can see that the place is densely covered with tall trees a great variety of wildlife reside here like leopards monkeys birds etc now secondly we can see a completely different place this place is extremely dry and covered with sand unlike the previous case no tall trees can be found here only thorny shrubs and cactus grow here also the number of animals found in this place is very limited so just now we watched a video on two different places of the earth the first part of the video depicted a forest and the later half of the video depicted a desert now these two places are completely different from each other on the basis of topography and flora and fauna found here for instance in a forest one can find dark green tall trees of varying heights also a great variety of wildlife is found in a forest now coming to a desert it is a completely dry region here one cannot find tall trees rather shrubs and cactus are only found here also the number of animals found in a desert is very limited camel is a popular animal that is found in desert now this camel cannot reside in a dense jungle so we find that the flora and fauna found in each of these regions is very unique now the uniqueness of flora and fauna can be attributed to the climatic conditions prevailing in each of these regions since immemorial times in other words we can also say that the life found in these regions have adapted themselves to the climatic conditions of these regions now these atmospheric conditions that prevail over a vast region and for a long period of time is known as the climate of that place so what is meant by the climate of that place climate of a place refers to the atmospheric conditions that prevail over a vast region and for a long period of time now the climate of different places on the earth is not uniform throughout for instance the climate of a forest is warm and humid whereas the climate of a desert is hot and dry so we understand that the climate of different places on the earth are dissimilar now on the basis of these climatic conditions prevailing in each part of the world we can divide the entire world into several regions look at this world map very carefully what do we see here here we see that the land masses are marked in different colors for instance some of the land masses are marked in dark green while others are marked in yellow and white now what does each of this color signify well each of this color signify or depict a particular geographical feature or climatic condition prevailing in that region for instance yellow color signifies a desert whereas white color signify ice cover or polar region again dark green signifies a forest while lighter shade of green signifies a grassland so from this map we understand that the geographical features or climatic conditions prevailing in different parts of the world is not uniform throughout we also understand that there are some part of the earth's surface that have or share similar climatic conditions or geographical features for instance these parts that are marked in yellow depict a forest again the parts that are painted in dark green depict a forest thus from this we can conclude that there are some parts of the earth's surface that share or have similar physical features and climatic 
conditions now do you know what are these parts called well a part of the earth surface with similar physical features or climatic condition is known as a natural region another name for natural region is biome so a biome or a natural region is a part of the earth surface with similar physical features or climatic conditions now as i have discussed just now there are several natural regions on the earth's surface like forest grassland desert or a polar region so each of this picture depict a particular natural region existing on the earth's surface now these natural regions are determined on the climatic conditions prevailing in those regions we shall now discuss how the climatic conditions influence these natural regions of the world but before we proceed with our lesson let me ask you a question a part of the earth's surface with similar physical features or climatic conditions is known as biosphere lithosphere hydrosphere or biome well the correct answer is biome biome or a natural region is a part of the earth surface with similar physical features or climatic conditions so the correct answer is biome now as i have mentioned just now the natural regions of the world are determined on the basis of climatic conditions now some of the characteristics of these climatic conditions or the factors that are determined by these climatic conditions are elements of weather landforms soil wildlife and vegetation now each of these factors differ with respect to different natural regions of the earth for example the elements of weather like humidity rainfall temperature etc prevailing in different natural regions of the world are different this is to say that a rainforest usually experiences high temperature and high annual rainfall whereas a desert is completely dry as the annual rainfall in a desert is very low also the landforms vary across several natural regions of the earth in a desert one will usually find a vast stretch of plain land covered with sand whereas in polar regions snow capped mountains are found so we find that landforms vary across several natural regions now coming to soil now soil also vary across several natural regions for instance in a forest one can find fertile alluvial soil whereas a desert is completely covered with infertile sand now as discussed previously the flora and fauna found in different parts of the world are different for instance in a forest one can find tall trees and a great variety of wildlife whereas in a desert thorny bushes and cactus grow and the variety of wildlife is very limited so from this we understand that the factors determined by the climatic conditions like elements of weather landforms soil wildlife and vegetation vary across several natural regions so by studying these factors one can divide the entire world into different natural regions now the different natural regions of the world that are determined by the climatic conditions are polar temperate subtropical and tropical so the major climatic zones or natural regions of the world are polar temperate subtropical and tropical now in this map we can see that the entire world has been divided into major climatic zones now the parts marked in red denote tropical region whereas the parts marked in yellow denote subtropical region again the parts marked in light green denote temperate region whereas the parts marked in dark green denote polar region 
now this is a very broad classification of natural regions found on the earth's surface now each of these regions can be further classified into different regions so in today's video we first understood the meaning of climate climate refers to the atmospheric conditions prevailing over a vast region and for a particular period of time then we understood how on the basis of different climatic conditions we can divide the entire world into several natural regions the major natural regions of the world are polar temperate subtropical and tropical in our next video we will discuss about each of these natural regions in details don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now